In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful here. We, uh, good morning, everyone. Now we are going to deal with our new program for mathematics department in Tabarak Private School. With you, teacher Muhammad Al-Badri with grade 11, mathematic teachers, and we are going to deal with the lesson of the sum to infinity. And before anything, we have to say very thanks Big thanks for the chairman, Mr. Yunus Rahmi. Now we are going to start with our new lesson, the sum to infinite. How are you, my dear students? Now we are going to uh, study the last lesson for the geometric series. And how could we deal to find the sum to infinity? Okay, we said before, how could we find the sum of n terms? But today we are going to deal with the uh, sum to infinity and how could we find it we said before how could we find the nth term the sum of the nth term starting from the first term or starting from a given term but today we are going to study our new lesson which is a geometric series of the sum to infinity of a geometric series and this symbol which we are seeing here if you see it, that means you have the sum to infinity so here we have an example how could we find the sum to infinity of this series so here we have 1 plus 1 third plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 27 this series how could we know it if it's an geomet if it's a geometric series or an arithmetic series we have to find the difference or the ratio the common difference or the common ratio between them if we subtract it here 1 over 3 minus 1 it will not the same difference if we subtract it here 1 over 9 minus 1 over 3 so can you say it here we have an arithmetic series yes I hear someone no yes you are an excellent student yeah we don't have uh, an arithmetic series so now here how could we find the common ratio now here we can find the common ratio by divide 1 over 3 divided by 1 becomes 1 over 3 it's very good excellent student again if we want to find the sum of nth term we have to find the first term and again we have to find the common ratio the common ratio how could we find it the common ratio is the quotient of division of any two consecutive terms 1 over 3 divided by 1 equals 1 over 3 if we take it if we divided 1 over 9 divided by 1 over 3 we will have 1 over 3 also if we divided 1 over 27 by 1 over 9 we will have it 1 over 3 so here we have a common ratio not a common difference so now here we have a geometric series and the first term is 1 so now here we need to find the sum to infinity how could we find the sum to infinity now? The formula is a over 1 minus r. It's easy one. So here a is 1, r is 1 over 3. We are going to replace, to substitute the value of a here is 1. And the value of r is 1 over 3. And type it using calculator. You will find it 1 over 2 over 3 equal 3 over 2. And here we have the first example. And for the second example here, we need to find the sum to infinity for the geometric series 54 minus 18 plus 6 minus 2 plus and so on. So here, how could we find it? We have here the first term is 54. And if you see it using your eye here, you will see that the difference between 54 and 18, not like the difference between negative 18 and 6. So here we have a geometric series, not an arithmetic series. So we are going to divide, divide it by y, what? Any two consecutive terms to find the common ratio r. And we have the first term a. And like what we studied in the school before the holiday, our dear students here, a equals what? Someone will say it here, teacher, a is negative 18. No. We cannot say it here a equal negative 18 because negative 18 is the second term and we know that a is the first term of the geometric series so a equals what can we say it 6 no we cannot say it 6 
So here it's what? It's 54. Yeah. Extension. So here A equals 54 and R equals the quotient of any two consecutive terms. If you divide it 6 by negative 18, you will have the same ratio. If you divide it negative 18 by 54, so any two consecutive terms, but right divided by left. Please do it. Right divided by left. Turn to it. Left divided by right. Someone will say to me, teacher, can I do it here? 54 divided by negative 18? No. We are saying what? Divide any two consecutive terms. The right divided by the left one. The right divided by the left. The right divided by the left. Thank you. And after that here, how could you find the sum to infinity? Here we have the formula. Sum to infinity equals A over 1 minus R. A equals 54. And R equals a negative 1 over 3. Negative, negative becomes positive. And type it using your calculator. You will have it here 1 over 1 plus 1 over 3. Again, why here positive? Teacher, we have it here negative. Yeah, I have here two negatives. And negative times a negative equal positive, like what we studied before in grade 8. So 1 over 1 plus 1 third equals 81 divided by 2. That is, okay. And for the next example here, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.005 or 005, as you say it. Plus, dot here means you don't have a limit of the terms. So now here, if we need to find it, we have to say that here we have the first term is 0 0.5. Excellent students. So now, how could you find the common ratio? Huh, you have two seconds to think. How could you find it? Yes, I see someone is raising his hand. Yes, how could you say it here? You have 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.5. Yes, thank you. But I want to ask you a question. Can we do the opposite? Can we divide here 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05? No. Yes, we cannot do it because here it, is, it will not the uh, first divided by second. And we said before the common ratio is the second divided by the first one. Thank you. So here A equals 0 0.5 and the common ratio R equals 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.5 which is 1 over 10 and here are the same steps for B and A example so here it will be A equals 0 0.5 and R equals 1 over 10 so type it using calculator you will have it 5 over 9 and again here we have example 2 here we have to find the sum to infinity using the sign of the sum so here we studied before how could you find the sum of n terms we had it here a number and we had it a number not infinity and we studied in the sum of the nth term of a geometric series the previous lesson but today we are studying new idea with the same sample so here we have to find a a is the answer, is the value of substituting the value of R equals 1 here in this relation. So we have to substitute 0 0.8 power this number. Becomes what? Becomes 0 0.8. And R is the base here. R is the base. So A is 0 0.8 and R is 0 0.8. Again, teacher. I misunderstand it, so I will repeat it again for you, my dear students. So here, if we need to find A, what is the value of R here, the first number here, the lowest number, the smallest number here in this symbol? So that means here we have to substitute the value of R equals 1 in this relation. It becomes what? 0 0.8 power what? Power 1. So now it becomes A equals 0 0.8. You can find it. Find it using calculator or mentally as you wish. And here are the common ratio, not this R. You have to focus. So here R is what R is a power is an indices, but R here is what R here is a common 
ratio yeah thank you very much and here how could we find now the sum to infinity we can find the sum to infinity using the rule a over 1 minus r a is 0 0.8 and r is 0 0.8 and type it using your calculator you will find it 4 thank you and now here the sum to infinity again for another example here we have r equals 4 and to infinity so how could you find the value of a the substitution here we had to replace r with 4 so it becomes 3 over 4 power what power 4 81 over 256 <laughs> again again here who can say to me how could you find 81 over 256 <coughs> yes it is 3 over 4 power 4 gives me 81 over 256 and the common ratio are this base okay thank you and we are now going to substitute in the formula of sum to infinity equal a over 1 minus r a is what a is 81 over 256 and r equals 3 over 4 so it will be 81 over 256 the value of a and r equals 3 over 4 Put it in your calculator as it is you will find it 81 over 64 another one here we have letters not we have it's not the numbers it's a letters so what here it's easy how could we solve it we are going to do we are going to do the same steps r equals 6 so a is a value of the substitution here of 6 so it becomes what here if you see it here a becomes 3b as it is and 2 power what 2 power 12 why 12 because we will have 2 power 6 so it becomes 2 power 12 3b over 2 power 12 equal 4096 and r equals what r equals 1 over 4 okay how could we find here r equals 1 over 4 Huh? Who can say it? Who can say it? Yes, R equals 1 over 4 because if we substitute here 6 and 7 or cancel these returns, you will have it 1 over 2 power 2 equals 1 over 4. Okay? Or you can find the 7th term and the 6th term and divide, it by, divide the 7th term by the 6th term, you will have the same value R equals 1 over 4. So now here is the sum to infinity equals a over 1 minus r and a here equals 3b over 4096 and r equals 1 minus 1 over 4 and here this denominator you will put it down and you will have it here 3 over 4 you will put 4 up so it becomes b over 100 oh sorry uh, b over 1024 now here we have an example 3 this example 3 is the sum of 3 terms. The geometric series is 61 and the common ratio is 0 0.8. Find the sum to infinity. How could you find the sum to infinity now? Ah, you have one minute to think about this one. <coughs> yes. If we need to think about this one, we have here 3 terms of a geometric series. So we can say the first term is A, the second term is AR, the third term is AR squared. Using the formula of general term equals A times R power N minus 1. So if we need to find it here, we are going to say here the first term A plus Y plus because he said to me here the sum. Yes, very good, excellent. I said it, I, I heard it. He said that we have the sum, the sum means plus, plus. So, a plus a r plus a r squared, consecutive terms, equals what? 61. And the common ratio is 0 0.8. So, we have r equals 0 0.8. We have r equals 0 0.8. If we substitute it, we will have here a plus 0 0.8, a excellent one. And the third one here, how could we how could we find 0 
Excellence yes, we have 0 0.8 uh, multiplied by 0 0.8 equals 0 0.64 hundredth or 0 0.8 power 2 equals 0 0.64 hundredth. Thank you, thank you. You are an excellent student. You are my favorite student. So here equals 61. And now we are going to add here 1 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.64 hundredth. Here we have like terms because we have the same algebraic term. Becomes what? 61 over 25. A equals 61. And if we want to cancel here 61 over 25, we have to multiply it by the multiplicative inverse, which is 25 over 61. So we will have it here A equals 25. So the sum to infinity, if we need to find it, it will be 25, which is A. And 1 minus R, which is 0 0.8. And here we have the last example for you, our my dear students. And I hope you enjoy with our uh, new lesson for the sum to infinite of a geometric series. And I hope you understand what we said it. Thank you very much and see you in the next lesson. Thank you for listening for our explaining and I hope you enjoy with our with us and the homework you can find it in the model and in your contact no, contact number with the WhatsApp and on the model. Thank you very much.